is up everybody body 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 and welcome back to another marvel snap video 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 so today guys of course bring you all a brand new deck in this deck guys this is a uh, nico and phoenix force deck i am pretty excited to give it a shot i have not used the phoenix force deck in a pretty long time um, however phoenix force decks are usually pretty like solid uh this isn't like a meta deck or anything along those lines but this is still a pretty solid deck to use of course i'm not getting any uh good cards to uh, use as my double but it is what it is might as well just drop my shuri there oh it i think it was nico that got the double but it's whatever yeah see there's legit no cards i can play which is kind of annoying because what you want to do is you want to play a card like multiple man human torch and then you want them to build a power get destroyed get revived by phoenix force but uh, unfortunately this is not the case here because of course they hit me for leech i get a nimrod and i'm gonna have to retreat because oh uh, man we were just getting the wrong cards at the wrong times and it sucks of course but sometimes that's just how it goes so i mean i guess ggs to my opponent all right a better starting hand than we had last game now I have Nimrod, so I actually have a card I can destroy. So that's pretty good. Isle of Silence doesn't necessarily matter too much. But Shuri into Nimrod seems pretty nice. Uh, even like, you know, I could go... Oh, actually, never mind. They hit my Shuri with a, um, an Ice Man, which sucks. But we have this Stark Tower. That's fine. We do have Phoenix Force, but again, we have to destroy our cars. So, okay, now they have a Kitty Pride, so it's probably a bounce deck, which is uh, a bit strange. And we have Ghost Spider. Okay, that's not too bad. I mean, I might as well just drop my Deathlock. Just cause I need to get like a card onto the board, right? But again, I don't really have any good cards. Okay, well. We do end up giving them the rock, which is nice. I do get Human Torch, which is even better. So I can probably go like Forge into Human Torch. Into a Ghost Spider. That way, wait, my Human Torch. Uh, will be pretty big which is nice I see that two times so I think that's uh, the Nico right but of course that goes by Human Torch they play Forge into a Kitty Pride oh gosh into an Ice Man that hits my Shuri again into a Nico Wow, that is kind of tough, but we do have Autumn Solar. So I could just go Nimrod and then just Autumn Solar on the left, but man, it sucks that he hit my Shuri twice. Now she's a six cost. But okay, well, now he has two Kitty Brides. That's a bit unfortunate, but uh, I mean, Nimrod might. Oh no, Nimrod, sorry, but Adam Zola might give us the win. We're we'll gonna have to wait and see, but there goes the Nimrod. Yeah, he gets destroyed and he gets copied. Oh. Okay, well, we're still winning down the middle, but I think that Bishop ties it for them, right? Yeah. And it's a tie. Are you serious? Very rarely do have yet ties in this game, but his bishop, he's so lucky he had bishop. Because, uh, that Shang-Chi. 
we were still winning with it, but that bishop ended up dying down the middle. Then of course, 10 O and then 18 H, that's a 10 point difference, so wow, that's a bit of a crazy game there, but GG's to my opponent. Okay, I like what I see now. We have multiple man, so I can actually destroy my multiple man, and hopefully I get Phoenix Force, and then Phoenix Force can bring back multiple man, and then we can start moving them all over the board, so oh, it's definitely not too bad. Death's Domain, okay, Death's Domain isn't too bad. After you play your next card, it becomes a demon. Uh, I mean, I guess. But yeah, I probably will just drop my multiple man down the middle. That's fine by me. And then we have Necrozha. Okay, well, I do get, uh... Yeah, after you play your next card, you add a copy of it to your hand, which is fine, but... I'm not really too fussed with it, though. Especially if I'm gonna go Shuri. But they play a Storm down the middle. That's whatever. I... Okay, well, now we have two times. But I'll probably just drop my Shuri. And then he has a Mr. Fantastic. Wow, okay. So this dude could just be using a straight lockdown. Like, this is probably a Professor X or something, I would assume. I assume he's probably gonna go Professor X on the right. And then we just lose because... Okay, well, he plays him on the left. Drops a wave. Into a Havoc. Wow. Interesting. Not often that you see that. Okay, well, I can probably just go Forge into a Venom. And then I can drop a Carnage here. So this is a uh, solid. <laughs> of course. Of course, this guy's a freaking Alliance. Oh man, I actually was not expecting that, but of course they had an Alliance. I actually felt pretty good about winning this one as well, but regardless, GG's to my opponent. Okay, now this is what I like to see. Human Torch, Phoenix Force, Deathlock. This is definitely what I like to see, so I'll probably just go Nico somewhere. And then I can drop Human Torch. And then he's gonna get destroyed because of Nico's ability. And then I can play Phoenix Force. I can move my uh, Human Torch around. Of course, we get hit with a freaking Addy Land. I just hope I redraw Phoenix Force because this could be super annoying. Well, we also get the Pet Mansion. Might as well just drop my Deathlock. It doesn't really matter too much. Man, I, I really just hope Addy Land gives me back my Phoenix Force. But they drop a wave, which is fine. I don't get back Phoenix Force. Oh, I do. Wow, how lucky we are. But of course, Phoenix Force is going to become a human torch. And this is where it gets really, really good, because now we can move him every turn, and he just becomes like a crazy OP. So, Adam Zola, though, is pretty nice. But... I honestly feel like there's no point. Because I can drop a human torch on like the left, play Artem Zola, and I'm pretty sure we just win, so. I really hope that's not like a Shang-Chi or something. Okay, just Captain Marvel, that's fine. But yeah, if we do something like this, right, that's what, like a 56 power. Human Torch, and then we Artem Zola him. That's, that's really, really good. <laughs> that is insane. There's no way they beat us, y'all. 